All right, Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shai, Call Hello Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, and salutation to you brothers pushing this word in truth and sincerity. All right, um, I'm coming with another article, but I'm, as I was reading that article, um, some scriptures that came to mind. So let me read these two scriptures that came to mind before I read this article. And if any um, precepts come to mind, uh, while I'm reading the article, I'll go back and bring out some more scriptures. But I just, the purpose of this video and this article, I just wanted to convey the coming days. Uh, there's something coming down the pike. And these Edomites, all right, I'm assuming the, the writer of this article is an Edomite. But everybody is alarmed. The the top uh, the top uh, economist, all right, there, there was an article I seen with an economist. He's alarmed at the trends of what's happening. You know, we're coming into October. People are anticipating the October surprise. You have uh, uh, President Putin, in, in, uh, who is the leader of Russia. He's planning for a mock drill of a Western attack, nuclear attack in Russia. And that's going to be a national exercise. Over here, about October 4th, maybe October 11th, there's going to be a FEMA test scheduled for October 4th. All right. So there's a lot of things going on. Um this article, you know, goes into uh, four, you call it four things, four things that the oligarchs are bringing. But we'll, we'll, we'll get into that article. But let me first start off by reading this um, Ecclesiastes 12 and 1. It says, remember now thy, cre cr thy creator in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. Because the days that are coming... There's going to be no pleasure in these days unless you're willing to become a slave to the elites and the oligarchs that are pushing this agenda that's taking place on the earth. All right. This uh, in, you know, this we call it, they call it the Great Reset. All right. But they're transitioning to a global world order. All right. In which the most high is going to upset it. But it's going to come at the cost of many lives. Many souls are going to be taken in this time that we're, we're in. OK, and I'm going to keep on reading. It says, while the sun or the light or the moon or the stars be not darkened, nor the clouds return after the rain in the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble and the strong men shall bow themselves and the grinders cease because there are few. All right, because we're coming in a time where there's not going to be a lot of jobs. All right. The keepers of the house. The modern day keepers of the house are your, your economists, all right? You know, your 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 economic, uh, your people in, 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 in the economic or the financial sex sector, all right? Those are your modern day keepers of the house, all right? And they're going to tremble, all right, for what's come upon the earth, all right? It says, um, and the grinders cease because they are few. And those that look out the windows be darkened because the future, all right, is going to be so grim, okay? And the elites are planning Hegelian dialectic. That's what they play, uh, Hegelian dialectic, which is order out of chaos, all right? Um, they call it order at chaos, which is order out of chaos. It says, and the doors shall be shut in the streets when the sound of the grinding is low, and he shall rise up at the voice of the bird, and all the daughters of music shall be brought low. All right, meaning men men are going to be rising up early, looking for opportunities, you know, because there's going to be lack of opportunities out here to to uh, to bring you forward. Um, let's let's uh, let me bring this out. This is the book of. Isaiah 55 and 6, it says, seek ye the Lord, seek ye the Lord while he may be found, call ye upon him while he is near. See, this is the time to seek out the Lord. We know him to be Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, because all of these prophecies, okay, that are written in the scriptures are going to come to pass. Let me go to the book of Luke 21, and let's see, what is it, 21 and...
Give me one second. I'm looking for it. This is Luke 21, and I'll start at 25. It says, and there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars. And that's what we're seeing. The Heavenly Father is showing us signs. You know, the blue moon, you know, the different eclipses that we've seen, you know, certain things that have been happening. You have super moons, okay, you know, shooting stars, all types of things that Yahweh Bashim Shai have blessed our eyes to see in these times. It says, and upon the earth, the stress of nations, which we're coming into the time of the stress of nations. And Lord's with this article will con convey that, you know, it says with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring. It says men's hearts failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth. See, these things that are coming upon the earth are going to make men's hearts fail. All right. They're going to bring men to fear. It says, for the powers of heaven shall be shaken, and then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud in a chariot with power and great glory. All right? So these things must needs come to pass in order for our salvation to come. So let's jump into this article real quick. I hate when it does this, but now this article is called Globalists Have Another Shock Event Planned in Pursuit of the Four Ds. All right. And. We're going to get into the four Ds, digitization, dehumanization, destruction, and depopulation. Now, this, this article was written on October the 1st, 2023, and the source is Leo Holman, all right? Now, in, in, in bold letters, it says 2024 will make 2023 look like a walk in the park. But we can make it through the storm if we hold on to our humanity and faith in God. And really, that applies to the elect of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. All right, because the elect of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai were anticipating the transformation. Remember, the scriptures say that Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning that followeth. And this is Esau's agenda. All right, and Esau is the so called white man. All right, it says the convergence of multi red alert warnings is starting. Is staring us in the face, all point pointing to a major event of some type in the upcoming weeks or months. See, there's going to be a major event or it could be a series of events. All right. That can take place. All right. That will ultimately transform the world as we know it. OK, so you're used to waking up, going to your job. All right. Making money. All right. To pay bills. All right. To pay fines, fees and penalties. All right. But it's going to life is going to take on a whole nother meaning. Life is going to turn to survival and a lot of people aren't going to survive. All right. It says whatever it is, this new catastrophe will hasten the collapse of the old world system, a collapse of economies and political structures that is already underway, paving the way for the Great Reset. Or as some call it, the NWO. Some of these words I'm not going to read. Here it goes. Here, here's what he says. He says, I call it the beast system. <laughs> and, you know, men in the know, you, we, we, we know about the beast. All right. We know about the beast. OK. All right. We know about the beast. Revelation 13 and 16. All right. This is what Esau Edom is pushing. This is the this is the um, last leg of the Roman Empire. All right. It says predicting the timing of such an event is impossible, but I do believe we are looking at a major shock event happening roughly within the next three to nine months, a year at most. OK, so this is what somebody that did, somebody has written this article. All right. This is his him writing this article. He, he's he's alarmed. All right. He's triggered. All right. There's something that he knows that most people don't know for him to write this article. All right. It says predicting the timing of such event. I read that. Um, I read that. It says the reason is simple. The billionaire globalist oligarchs desire to bring about a situation which involves digitization of money and human beings. All right. We know the M thing. The M M M I C H I P. All right. Oh, no, I spelled it wrong. Shalaki. M-I-C 
R O C H I P. All right. That's dealing with the digitization, all right, of money and human beings, all right? You have dehumanization, humans replaced by transhumans, all right? Transhumans, transhuman hybrids, all right? There's a lot of technology that's being introduced, all right? Um, even reading through these articles, go to blacklisted.news.com. There's some new articles that came out about you know, transhumanism and, you know, different technologies that's going to help ultimately, you know, bring in this dehumanization. OK, as the, as, the, as the article reads, human replacement, human replaced, humans replaced by transhuman hybrids. Uh, the third D is destruction of all cultural norms, male, female genders, the ability to reproduce the ability to reproduce without technology, etc., and depopulation of those deemed useless eaters. All right, that uh, goes back to the Georgia Guidestones, which they say maintain humanity at 500 million. All right, these are the four D's needed to bring about the total control that globalist technocrats seek to extend over all human behavior in a restructured. World run by artificial intelligence and based on the elimination of all fossil fuel usage by the common man, non-oligarchs. If only the oligarchs have access to fossil fuels and only the oligarchs are allowed to reproduce and enjoy freedom of speech, what you end up with is one world slave state. And that's exactly the goal. All right. Um. It says, so the four D's are used to get to the fifth and final D, which is dystopia. All right. Now, let's look up the word dystopia. Let me see how I do this real quick. It says dystopia, an imagined state or society in which there is great suffering or injustice, typically one that is totalitarian or post-apocalyptic. All right. And this is what Esau Edom wants to bring in. A type of society where he's going to be at the helm of it. Talking about those rich oligarchs. All right. They're going to be the ruling class and everybody is going to be slaves. Everybody's going to be subject to the fear. All right. And, and, and the uh, some other words, the fear that a totalitarian society is going to bring upon its people. You know, uh, let's see. It says, um. It says, in the eyes of the globalist predator class, they're reaching for their utopia. But for the rest of us, it will be a living hell, a dystopia. All right. It says, these globalist oligarchs were only able to destroy so much of the old world order with, with the C-19. All right. That's what it says right there. And they need another big crisis event to finish the job of achieving all their dystopian goals, which are enc encompassed in the Agenda 2030 Sustainable Development Goals. Now, I did a video on that 2030 Sustainable goal, uh, Goals a long time ago, and um, that's nothing nice, you know. That's not a society that you want to live in, man, all right? We want to live in a society where we can praise Yahweh Bashim al Shah freely and live in peace and be at peace with one another. And we're Israelites, you know, amongst Israel. It says they played language games reminiscent of or Orwellian news, news speak to make us think the SDGs will bring about utopia. In reality, the masses will be ushered into the nightmare of dystopia. If the globalists continue to pressure their minions in national and state capitals to enact their Green New Deals and net zero campaigns, the masses will eventually wake up and come for these globalists. That awakening has already begun. And that is why it is urgent that they escalate a full-blown World War III scenario, which includes famine and shortages, as soon as they possibly can. The window is closing on the King Charles Initiative, initiated Great Reset, and so 
it's time to double down on destruction and depopulation. If they don't, they will never get it to full digitization and dehumanization. The end of the human history, as Yuval Harari explained in the video below. All right. Now, let's let you hear what this uh, Edomite, all right, is saying. And a lot of brothers probably already heard it. Let's play it again. Essentially, we are talking about the end of human history, not the annihilation of the human species, not the end of history, just the end of the, that part of history which was dominated by human beings, by human ideas. And we live cocooned inside a culture created by human beings. Everything we think, we feel has been shaped by stories, by images, by poems, by tools that were created by human minds. Now, there is something that can create poems and images and tools which is not human. It's an alien intelligence and it has remarkable abilities. It's very likely that in the next few years it will basically eat up all of human culture Everything we have created for tens of thousands of years since the Stone Age, it will uh, 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 absorb it, digest it, and start spewing out a new culture coming from an alien intelligence. What would that do, not just to the world outside us, but to the world inside us, to our psychology, to our religions, to our political views? Nobody knows. So even in the Soviet Union, it was technically impossible to follow everybody all the time. Yes. Now it is possible. You don't need KGB agents, human agents, to follow people around. You have uh, the digital agents. We carry them in our pockets. The smartphones, the cameras, it's everywhere. Yeah. So you can technically follow everybody all the time. And you don't need human analysts to go over the data. This is where AI I comes AI. in. Yeah, it's a so, terrifying prospect. So it's right. now possible to create total surveillance regimes that follow everybody all the time, that know much more about me than I know about myself. Yes. And there are regimes that are going in that direction. Are you surprised? <laughs> surprised, Teddy? <laughs> if I woke up tomorrow with my head sewn at the carpet, I wouldn't be more surprised than I am right now. <laughs> So this guy said there's I'm going to play it back around this this point because look what he says man you 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 you're basically financing your own tyranny you, this, they set up a society where you finance your own tyranny these smartphones that you you have in your pockets all right they can track you all right they 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 have technology that can analyze and it, it, the guy said they know more about you than you know about yourself all right. That's why information is very, very valuable and it's more valuable than gold. I mean, again, not more valuable than gold, more valuable than oil. All right. To oligarchs like this, they know how to trigger people's emotions. All right. They know, man. Man, look, uh, let me see. There's, there's scriptures that come to mind. Let me read this. So I'm working off my computer, too, at the same time. Let me uh, let me bring this out real quick. This is uh, Ezekiel. Uh, let me see. Give me a second. This is Ezekiel. What is Ezekiel? This is Ezekiel 28. All right. This is Ezekiel 28 and 2. It says, um, son of man, say unto the prince of Tyrus, all right, the modern day prince of Tyrus, Esau, Edom, all right, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, because thine heart is lifted up, and thou hast said, I am a God, I sit in the seat of, of God, in the midst of the seas, yet thou art a man, and not God, though thou set thine heart 
as the heart of a God of a God, behold, thou art wiser than Daniel. There's no secret that they can hide from thee. All right. With thy wisdom and with thy understanding, thou has gotten thee riches and has gotten gold and silver into thy treasures by thy great wisdom and by thy traffic. Has thou increased thy riches and thy heart is lifted up because of thy riches. All right. So the heavenly father have set you up. All right. You have access to this technology in which the heavenly father have given you. All right. To track people, to create artificial intelligence, to use uh, uh, the ideas of the people. All right. To input into your different uh, systems, your different devices. All right. And you have found the ability all right. So basically read the minds of the people through this technology that they use. All right. Now, this is what he said. Let's play it back again. You don't need human analysts to go over the data. This is where AI comes AI. in. AI. Yeah. It's so, a terrifying process. So it's now possible to create total surveillance regimes that follow everybody all the time that know much more about me than I know about myself. Yes. And there are regimes that are going in that direction. Mm -hmm. He's fast. <laughs> he said there are regimes that are going into that direction. All right. So he, he had mentioned that you back in uh, the Soviet Union, you had the KGB. Um, uh, the Germans had the Gestapo. All right. And these different um, authoritarian uh, regimes, they, they have a secret police force. All right. And if you said the wrong thing. You would be uh, uh, hur hurled out your house in the middle of the night. They create snitch programs. All right. This, we're coming into a time of complete chaos. And that's why the Most High is going to have to make it quick. All right. He's going to have to he's going to have to come quick. All right. Um, the scriptures say if uh, if the Lord didn't come quickly, few, uh, very little flesh should be left. To, uh, let me get it. I'm trying to think how you word it. Uh, let me see. He said, uh, let me get it real quick. Let's see if I can find it. Should be in Matthew's, the 24th chapter. I just want to bring it out for edification's sake because that's the time that we're coming into. These devils, man, the Heavenly Father, here it goes right here. The Heavenly Father is going to let them loose. All right. There's another scripture I got coming after that. Um, this is uh, Matthew 24 and 22. And it says, and except those days should be shortened, there should be there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. All right. In these days that we're coming into. All right. They're going to be some vicious, horrific days. All right. And according to this article, it could happen within the next three months, the next six months. All right. Who knows? There was another scripture that, I, that was on the tip of my mind that I wanted to bring out. Um, I for, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This is uh, Proverbs, uh, yeah, Proverbs 16. Proverbs 16 and 4. This computer is slow. It's crazy. Let me see this. It's the book of Proverbs 16 and 4. It reads, The Lord have made all things for himself, yea, even the wicked for the day of evil. So we're going to find out that the Heavenly Father made this devil, all right, Esau Edom, who was pushing this agenda. He's created for these times that we're coming into, all right, to manifest his sword. All right. Well, the scriptures say in um, Isaiah, the 10th chapter, um, the Syrian is the rod of his anger, anger and his indignation. All right. And he shall bring it upon a hypocritical nation. All right. In this article, it says that uh, Putin is in the way. But really, you know, who's really in the way is the Israelites. All right. The Israelites are, are stumbling block. All right. To Esau Edom's agenda. All right. Because we're the ones that are, are saying that, look, Yahweh Bashim al the God of Israel, he's going to intervene in the midst of this terrible uh, endeavor that Esau Edom is bringing upon the earth. And 
might I add, it's the Heavenly Father's program. The Heavenly Father is going to cleanse the earth <laughs> through these terrible things that's going to be taking place. All right. Now, right down here it says Russia is an obstacle to their plans for a truly one world system, not because of Putin being any kind of hero, but because of Russia, of the Russian people and their will to survive under a purely Russian leader. So we're going to jump down. All right, because this is a, this article is a big article, but I want to bring out some more points. Um, I'm gonna jump down. It says, um, as the nations line up and draw the battle lines for World War Three, India is the wild card. This is not the old India. It is the fast. It is the fastest growing nation. It has a lot of technical expertise and it can fill a huge army it could make the difference in who wins world war three depending which side it, it decides to join once once world war three ratchets ratchets up we're looking at a nationwide draft in the u.s hitting into an election year which means the potential outbreak of civil war on u.s soil at the same time we're involved in world war then you're looking at cyber attacks, possible false flag attacks, a new and scarier pandemic, a historical famine and supply chain disruptions exacerbate, exacerbated by war or some combination of the above, all brought on by an intensifying World War III. This will not be a time for weak Christians or feeble minded Westerners used to their entertainment and creature comforts. The way things are going, I foresee a combination of at least three or four of the above scenarios taking place simultaneously. And I can concur. All right. The Heavenly Father is going to bring this situation out with a bang. This is like this is like the end of an action packed movie scene that we're coming into. All right. The last 15, 20 minutes of the movie is just action packed nonstop. That's the times that we're coming into. It says the way the way things it says um, below are are some of the data point points pointing towards a catastrophic event that will forever change the world. So this is what they research. All right. So they're giving you information. It says smoke seen rising from Idaho's National Lab, which tests advanced nuclear weaponry. Pope says world is on the brink of nuclear war worse since 1962. It says increasing reports of U.S. warplanes training overhead coming in from all over the country. FEMA sets October 4th nationwide emergency alert test. U.S. orders $290 million worth of anti-radiation sickness tablets. Can we see a, a dirty nuke, a pocket nuke in, a, in the coming city next, you know? Hey, man, the Heavenly Father, man, you know, Yahweh Bashim Shai have warned us of these times. All right. It says uh, New York City broadcast public service ads on how to survive a nuclear attack. I remember that. All right. Um, down here, you got. Uh, this is Dingle Corp, which has ties to the CIA predicted in 2014 that the U.S. would lose 68.5 percent of its population by the end of 2025. The UK would lose about 75 percent and most Western European nations would lose would also lose about 30 to 50 percent. Um, it says free speech and political dissidents are under attack in formerly free nations. These are the nations we once thought were the good guys. The US, Canada, EU, UK, Australia and New Zealand all are cracking down in a very visible in very visible ways on free speech, pastors and journalists, such as Pastor Arthur uh, Prolosky in Canada and the journalist Owen Schroer and Stephen Horn, Schroyer and Stephen Horn in the U.S. are being jailed for simply expressing ideas that challenge the government mass media narratives. All right. So these are the things that are. I'm not going to read this whole article. I'm not going to finish this whole article. But if you want to go through, you know, these, this, this article, it's, it's, it's up at blacklistednews.com. But uh, pretty much what's coming upon the earth is not uh, going to be nothing nice. All right. Especially for the wicked. Um, 
There's a scripture in uh, 2nd Ezra 8 and 50. It says, for many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter time dwell upon the earth. All right, let me get this other scripture. Uh, get the scripture in Jeremiah. Jeremiah 8 and 50. Jeremiah 25 and 33, it says, matter of fact, let's start at uh, 32, Jeremiah 35, I mean 25 and 32, it says, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, behold, evil shall go forth from nation to nation, and a great whirlwind shall be raised up from the coast of the earth, and the slain of the Lord shall be at that day from one end of the earth, even unto the other end of the earth. They shall not be lamented, neither gathered nor buried. They shall be dung upon the ground. So it's going to be slain from one end of the earth to the other. All right. And see, we're giving you, you know, we're laying down the, the, the we're laying down the um, ideas of the globalists all right, through these articles. All right. And it's plus it's biblical prophecy. It has to happen. All right. It has to happen. Um, matter of fact, let's go to uh, another scripture. We'll go to. Because this is the way that the Heavenly Father is going to answer us. This is uh, the book of uh, Psalm 65. And Five. It says, um, it says, by terrible things and righteousness will thou answer us, O Yahweh of our salvation, because the Heavenly Father is going to bring this, this hell upon earth, all right, ultimately to deliver us, all right, because it's going to trigger him to send forth Yahweh Shah back to deliver the elect, the men that are waiting for him. It's going to be a lot of faith on the earth when those days, you know, come, all right, and I pray Yahweh Bashim Asha strengthen. Me strengthen the brothers, the brotherhood, all right, the men that believe, the true believers, all right, because you're going to have survivors of this and you're going to have men that's going to be able to tell, all right, their works, all right, in the coming days once the society is cast down. It says, by terrible things and righteousness will thou answer us, O Yahweh, power of our salvation, who art the confidence of all the ends of the earth and of them that are far off upon the sea, all right? So... The Heavenly Father have blessed us with the foreknowledge or the foresight to see what's about to come upon the earth. Because you can see the majority of our people, they have no clue. All right. And it's going to take them by surprise. All right. Fearfulness is going to take hold upon the majority of our people. But we pray that Yahweh Bashim al Shah strengthen our minds. All right. And gird our loins like men to be able to deal with what's about to take place on the point of earth. All right, see, a lot of Edomites, they, they're privy to what's about to happen. So they write these articles, but they have no deliverer. They have nobody that's going to deliver them. They can't call upon the power of Israel to deliver them. All right. But we, being men of the Lord and men that, you know, go out to the highways and hedges, we have the ability, all right, to, to find comfort and salvation in the days to come. All right. And once we overcome this, We'll be it, it'll be all gravy, like they say, you know, it's all gravy from them, you know, you know, it'll be you know, great days are coming, you know, after this. But we have to weather the storm. So I'm going to stop the video right here. Lord's will, you were edified, you know, um, giving all praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, all glory and honor to my power, the living power. All right. He's the living God. All right. And he's the one that foretells what's about to happen before it happens. And when it happens. All right. He gets his glory because he's the power that have said, spoke it before. And he spoke it to his prophets, his servants, the prophets. So with that, I don't give all praises to Yahweh Bashim al Shai. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught us this word through the spirit and power of our living father. All right. Our living, our living father and his son. All right. And we give a uh, salutation to you brothers that listen, that watch, that are diligently waiting for the coming of the salvation of Yahweh Bashim al Shai. All right, and death to the Edomites, man. Death to their power structure. Death to their oligarchs. All right, slavery to their oligarchs because a lot of their elites, 
All right. They're not going to die in these nuclear missiles. They're going to hide in the mountains and they're going to be scared of Yahweh Shai at his coming, pursuing to the book of Revelation. They're going to be like the mountains hide upon us from the wrath of the Lamb. All right. So with that, Shalom.